WFNN Headline News Update. Everyone, Basil Chapman on this Wednesday, the 25th of May. We're looking at the, the Tiger Financial News Network 11 o'clock Tiger, Tiger Financial News Network update. Dow's up 132 at 32,057. Went right to the 200, to the 14 period exponential moving average. That's what we were looking for earlier in the day. Uh, 32,150 and now it's pulling back a little bit. The fact that it tagged it is really important because it's helping the pink nine period moving average attempt to cross positive. The, this, the MAGD finally is uh, up. Cross positive, that's a good sign. Stochastics, eh, lousy at 31%. On balance volume is good. So that's the uh, that's the Dow. What we want to see is after the Fed speak, you don't want to see the, the, the Dow give back more than, uh, go, go under 31,900. We want to see at least stabilize and say, phew, at least we survived that particular Wednesday Fed speak. Now, the S&P has squeaked to another nominal high. So this is a leg B, I believe. Uh, hit 3979. That's the pink nine period moving average. The 4004 level is the black 14 period moving average. It hasn't even got close to it yet, but it is. The MAC did, did cross positive. You don't want to see it um, at any point later in the day under 39,038. We're looking at the QQQ. Finally, it's getting a little bit of a turn to the upside up 2.36 at 289. It's a start. It really needs to get to the 297s or higher to suggest that it's got staying power for a, an, at least a week or two rather than a day or two. So we're looking at the uh, IWM also only up, two, up 250. It's stuck at the 14 period moving average. Gold was down sharply earlier on. Now it is down Still down 17 at 1848. It's just stuck in a range at the 200 period moving average. Couldn't break above it. It needs time to build strength to be able to do that. The dollar is up a little bit. Uh, the dollar is up 43 ticks at 102.19. It's good, but it really needs to get to 102.85 to say, hey, I'm back rather than consolidating. You're looking at the bonds, US bonds trading right now, uh, unchanged at 149, 140. Oh. It's up, yeah, at 132nd. 141, 39, 30 seconds. In leg C, right at the resistance that I drawn in here based on the cup formation and the Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line. That's where it is. It needs to get a lot higher than that. Uh, the TGT, oh, TTBT, which is the bonds, uh, the Lehman 20 year Treasury bond fund is acting very poorly right now. Uh, it's pulled back. That is, the, that is the inversion of the TLT. And it's pulling back, and that's suggesting that yields can go a little bit, uh, a little bit lower. So, with that said, and crude oil is about unchanged. Have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for Larry Pizzarento. Check out my opening call, David Newsletter. I'll see you back tomorrow. Uh, great program coming up. Stay tuned.